Pituitary surgery as alternative to dopamine agonist treatment for microprolactinomas, a court study by Bussart et al. Background. Microprolactinomas are intracranial tumors that are less than 10 mm in size. The excess production of prolactin in men can cause loss of libido, erectile dysfunction, and gynecomastia. In women, it can cause galacteria and menstrual problems. The first-line treatment for microprolactinomas are dopamine agonists. They're highly efficacious but require long-term therapy in most cases. Meanwhile, the outcomes for pituitary surgery are unclear. The study aimed to analyze the short- and long-term outcomes for patients with microprolactinoma who underwent surgery. Methods 114 patients with microprolactinomas who had a well-limited non-invasive adenoma, evidenced by imaging, were included in the study. They underwent a prolactin assay before and after endoscopic transphenoidal surgery and had their disease-free survival after surgery assessed. Results 88% of patients were in biological remission in the last follow-up. A low preoperative prolactinemia is the only significant predictor of remission. One-year and five-year disease survival were estimated to be 91% and 81% respectively. Very few surgical complications were noted in the patients with no severe complications. Conclusions and importance for patient care. In patients with well-limited non-invasive microprolactinomas, as evidenced by preoperative MRI, pituitary surgery at neurosurgical centers of expertise is effective and successful option for a first-line treatment. To read the full article, please refer to the link provided in the slide or scan the QR code.